If YouTube was around in the early 90s, then DC versus Marvel would have been independent company versus independent company. But let's face it, there was barely internet back then. Now, if we were doing a versus battle, which we are, it would be which parent company is bigger? Disney for Marvel or AT&T for DC? And why do people get so bent out of shape when they find out that AT&T owns DC? They bought WB, WB owned DC. I mean, I told my friends that and they looked at me like Superman looked at Batman. Tell me, do you bleed? Now, putting the movies aside, because we all know Marvel dominates that department. For you comic book fans, who do you really prefer? DC or Marvel? Please let me know in the comments. So now to find out which parent company is bigger. Disney or AT&T? I sound like Thor in Endgame. No, no, give me that. You have the little one. We're going to start off with DC and AT&T. AT&T acquired Warner Media back in 2016, and it contributes about 20% of their revenue. When they acquired them, it included HBO, Time Warner Cable Network, and Warner Brothers Studios, which included DC. Their CEO is Randall L. Stevenson. The number of employees is 246,000. Their headquarters is Dallas, Texas. Their stock price at the time of this recording is $28.04 and their total company value is $199.7 billion. DC, AT&T. Now it's on to Marvel and Disney. The House of Mouse owns a lot. From Lucasfilms to Pixar to ESPN, ABC, and of course Marvel. Actually, ever since Disney acquired Marvel back in 2009, the MCU has made Disney $18.2 billion. That's a lot. Their CEO is Robert Chappick. Their number of employees is 223,000. The headquarters is Burbank, California. Their stock price at the time of this recording is $124 and their total company value is $223.9 billion. Marvel and Disney. And with a company value that is almost $24 billion larger, your winner today is Marvel and Disney. You see, DC and AT&T went in there with their chest all out like Thor was in Ragnarok. Move. My hands aren't as steady as they used to be. By Odin's beard, you shall not cut my hair, lest you feel the wrath of the mighty Thor. But then, when it was all said and done... Please, kind sir, do not cut my hair. <laughs> no! No! There is hope for DC. They're coming out with a Flashpoint movie, which should reboot everything. Let's hope they do it that way anyway. And if they do, this is a marathon, not a race. Build up the characters, build up the universe, and then come out with big events. You know, don't just one, two movies, big event. That, that doesn't work that way. You have to build up these characters and then put them in a the movie. I mean, we didn't know nothing about Flash. We didn't know nothing about none about aquaman we didn't know about cyborg i mean unless you're a hardcore combo fan you knew but your average viewer didn't know that so build them up like marvel did and then you put them together but also remember one thing dc if you're really gonna go after marvel you should have gone for the head And saying that, if you are new here to SEM, please hit the subscribe button and become part of this SEM Nation. Once you come part of this nation, hit that bell notification, you'll know when the video comes out. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. My name is Dorian. This is SEM. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. And you guys have a good day. Oh, DC did do something right at the end of Justice League. I used to love this in the comic books. Which coast? Uh, you know, I've never seen the Pacific, which is that way.